Okay, so let's fix up our view. So in the room, we're going to go to views. And in the top left here, I may just make that smaller. We want to make so we can see everything. We're going to enable the use of views and we're going to use view zero. We also want to make sure this view is visible when the room starts. Now currently the view in the room is quite big. It's set to this line here. We actually want it to be set to the same size as the room. So the size of the room is 240 by 176. And then we get a view that should outline just our room. But we want the port on the screen to be bigger and we have to do a little bit of maths here so it doesn't go all funny. Um, I'll show you what I mean by funny. If I just put in a thousand by 500, I think, oh yeah, that seems like a pretty good size. I hit play. There's a thousand by 500, but my image is all stretched. There's all kinds of graphics glitches here uh, with the sprites. Everything looks blurry. That's easy to fix though. Um, doesn't quite work out. So instead we need to figure out something that is a factor of these. The easiest way is just to multiply each of these by a number. So if I open up my calculator and I go 240 uh, times 4, that's 960. So I'll put 960 here. And then uh, 176 times 4 equals 704. So I'll put that in there. Um, now when I run it, everything will be in proportion, but I'm still going to get ugly little graphics glitches. Okay, so everything's in proportion, but it's kind of blurry and I get all these lines everywhere. That is easy to fix. We go to global game settings and then we go to windows along the top, graphics and turn off this interpolate. Um, I'm not sure if it's in windows eight as well. Yeah, there it is. And it's probably if you're running a newer version, it may have windows 10. Uh, but either way, you just want to turn off the interpolate between pixels. Click OK. And then it won't try to it won't try to up uh, stretch everything out. Uh, it won't try to make everything nice and smooth. It'll just do um, a very simple enlargement, and it just looks nice. The pixel art is maintained. Everything looks pretty good. My guy is way too fast here, uh, but I can see that that sprite is working there now. What we are going to do later is we're going to have larger rooms, multiple rooms, and then switch the view between them as we transition over the areas. So it's kind of going to look like an old style Zelda game. 